Sup? Today's video, I'm going to discuss my YCS Vegas deck list, explain to you guys exactly the card choices and why you play them, the combos that I did not explain in Sam's video. It performed very well, finished X1, 17th place, so unfortunate, we should have topped, but we, we got cucked on tiebreakers. So if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button, let's go! I'm hyped for today's video. Consider signing up to the special Drift Game membership in the description below. I'm literally about to post 10 videos on how to play pendulums correctly this upcoming, this whole week. So do not miss out, it's gonna be huge. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back, my sons. Okay, let's get started on the video. Now this is the list that I used at YCS Vegas. As you see, there's no Magician Souls, that card's ass. Do not play it. I know I played it before. If you invested in it and I told you to play it, my bad. Go sell it and get yourself some sunglasses. In the meantime, you got Magical Abductor here. We're going to go straight into it. And I can't stress this enough. Now, some people, all due respect to any pendulum player that doesn't like Abductor, but you must play Abductor plain and damn simple. After Servant of Endymion, Magical Abductor is just the best card in the entire deck. Mastery counts as Servant because without Servant, Abductor is better than Mastery, but Abductor is the best card in this deck after Servant. The dual purpose of Abductor is ridiculous. So what people don't realize is Abductor equals Monkey Board. You're literally playing three Monkey Boards in your deck. But pe Oh, shh, that's definitely a mistake over there. We're definitely not playing this. Ew, that's just good. My eyes are literally bleeding looking at this. Let's go right back. There we go. So... You gotta understand this. What does Monkey Board do, right? Monkey Board does, it says, give you another scale, right? It gives you a one card full scale. That's exactly what Abductor does. Look how many spell cards you play. Now, a lot of you guys don't play this many spell cards that I do because, I don't know, you don't have as big of a brain as I do, but when you realize that it is actually possible that Abductor equals Monkey Board, you will start playing Monkey Board. Abductor literally equals Monkey Board. Now, if you let's say you have a clogged scale. Let's say you already have low scales, you already have high scales, you don't need scales. That's the beauty of Abductor. You normal summon Abductor and search Droll or a low scale. So regardless, you're plusing one. So a lot of the times, I'm actually, no, most of the time I normal Abductor to search Droll. That's my play most of the time. Because what people don't realize is that Droll backed up. Droll is, does not get stopped by Dark Ruler. Okay, so when I, this, uh, you don't got to worry too much about Dark Ruler. Let them Dark Ruler you. A lot of the times, Droll just does this job anyways. Like, Droll destroys, what people don't realize, a lot of people stop playing Droll, but Droll literally destroys this entire meta. I can search Droll and pass for a Spiral, and I'll be good to go. Now, once everyone one Reflection, one Magister. I used to play multiple Reflections. Don't, it's a bad card. Magister is also a bad card. It does, it's not a starter for you. I know a lot of you play Triple Magister, and it builds that do not play Chronograph. Play three, you have to play three Magister, because you don't have the high skills. But if you're playing Chronograph, you have all the high skills you need. You don't need to play extra Magister, simply for the fact that it's a ma that it's that it's uh, scale 8. At that point, you might as well play Metal Fool's Blow Flame, because it's a scale 8. Why are you playing Magister because it's a scale 8? That is ridiculous. That's like saying, I'm going to play Gemini Garnet because it's level 4. It doesn't matter. Like, it's a fact you only need one in the deck to search it when you need to because it's not a starter. If you draw a Magister, let's say you draw a Magister, Secrets, Desires, Allure, and like on a Chronograph. So you see these five. It looks good, but it's actually not good at all because you have no play. Uh, well, let's say some, some of you don't play Chronograph, which baffles me. So let's say you draw Jackal. So you have Magister, Secrets, Desires, Allure, Jackal. You have no starter. What the hell? You have to open search. Like, the people that don't play Abductor, that Max Magister, just baffle me. Because you have no starter here. You're going to end up Pendulum Summoning Jackal, Mighty Master, Reflection, Pass. Like, that's so bad. So, Magister is not a starter at all. Uh, that's why one is all you need. It's it just a win more card. If you get the result, Magister just a win more card. It's not a starter. Triple Mighty Master. I'm trying to get into the theory behind this deck for you guys. Because this is very important. A lot of you guys just see a deck list and just throw in the deck list and be like, oh, you know, I'm going to play this because it looks good. No, what the, you, you need like the theory behind each card. Why are you playing three Magister? Why are you not playing Chronograph? Why are you not playing Abductor? Why are you playing Abductor? You have to know the exact reasoning. And on my Patreon, I really discuss this in depth 
but really into the card. So for example, I'll let's talk about one specific matchup or whatever it may be, but you have to know everything inside and out with these cards. Otherwise, you're going to be left in bad situations. For example, multiple times at the tournament, I would negate my own spell card to bounce Mighty Master back to my hand uh, that I brought out with Servant, and then I have my high skill with Mighty Master. There's lots of plays like that that you guys have to realize that you guys might not realize. Or attempt to use Mighty Master Effect and Scale uh, to get a free extender, uh, but Cerberus has 20 counters, so it doesn't die. So you get to use Mighty Master Effect without uh, something dying. There's lots of big brain plays like that that a lot of you guys don't realize. That's why I'm doing these videos. So stay tuned to the very end of the video, because I'll be showing you guys a lot. Uh, triple Cerberus, you still have to play it, because with Institution, it's so broken, and it makes sure Mighty Master resolves all the time. Double Jackal, you don't need more than that. I know a lot of you guys play 3 Jackal, 2 Cerberus. That's stupid. That's like 3 Garnet, 2 Brilliant Fusion. You don't really want to open Jackal, but if you do, it's fine. It is a negate. I would just prefer to search it. Uh, Jackal, 1 Mini Jackal because it's searchable by Abductor as a normal summon, or it's searchable with Institution as a, as a level 1. So it's good to have in the deck, but it is definitely the first card I side out. Uh, triple Chrono, Double uh, One Time Gazer. Chrono Gaia is just too damn good. Because of the Mythical Beast cards that you play, uh, and another extender to make Crowley, it's very important. You want to make a Link 2 before you Pen Summon, otherwise your Pen Summon will be trash. Uh, that's literally only, the only reason I'm playing Chrono Goth. All other extenders, Dark Worm, all that sucks right now. If it is not a Spellcaster extender, it sucks. You want to play all the Spellcaster extenders possible. Uh, one Droll, one Blue Boo, uh, like I said, Droll is just so big to search with Abductor. Uh, you could have two Jackal, two Mighty Master, and a Droll, but... Uh, that board so like, bro, your board's so susceptible to a super poly or to a dark ruler or whatever it may be. But having the one draw that you search is a card your opponent cannot deal with. And I don't play Garuda in here because I I know it's like you would like to have draw and Garuda, but without Electrum, it's just asking for too much at that point. And it might as well just be another Jackal at that point. Uh, I know I play Into the Void and Droll, but Into the Void is just so damn good. You have no idea how much an Upstart Goblin is, how good an Upstart Goblin is for this deck. And so if you have, you just don't start Droll. If you open Into the Void, you just do, you're not going to draw two one ups. You're not going to draw both Droll and Into the Void. You're only going to, you're going to see Into the Void and Abductor maybe. So when you see Abductor and Into the Void, you just don't normal summon the Abductor to search Droll, if that makes sense. Now, a lot of you guys don't play Allure of Darkness, and that baffles me as well. Because Allure of Darkness is so broken in this deck. Uh, an, like Mythical Beat, like the J Mini Jackal allows you to Allure of Darkness, the Chronograph, the Mighty Masters, Abductor Search or something. The whole deck, if it's not a Dark, it searches a Dark. So all these draw cards, all those search cards, all search a Dark. So Allure is just so damn... If you're playing Chronograph, you must play it. It's not debatable. If you don't play Chronograph, then Allure is a little more iffy. Uh, one Blue Boy, Double Secrets, One Knowledge. Now, move, this is the list that I used for the event but moving forward i want to give you guys a different option i don't think droll is seeing much play anymore i don't know why i think it's incorrect not to play droll but good for us that they're not playing it so what i'm doing now is i'm playing a second blue boy reason being so in my new list uh if droll this is i'll still continue with this list for next week but until need fiber comes out but if you don't see droll if you don't if you're not scared of droll at all take out three instant fusion Put in a second blue boy because if you imperm the blue boy, you could still go into Crowley and search the second blue boy and the secrets of the knowledge. That's why having two blue boys very good. It's very, very, very good. And another reason is you want to open two of them. Because if you know a blue boy, they're gonna imperm it, fantastic. Then you secrets. Does that make sense? Or if you open two of them, you blue boy, you keep the blue boy in field to make a link two with, and then you knowledge this, the other secrets in hand. Uh, and the, the 40th card to put in, in my opinion, would be one Citadel, but I'm not a big fan of it. But yeah, this is just as I use, and I think I'll be correct if, if Droll still sees play. One into the Void, same reasoning that I just said. One spell counter does the whole difference. A lot of you guys play Citadel, right? Citadel's fucking trash. Now, one, I'm only playing one because sometimes you're going to have a hand of all monsters, but one Mastery. So Mastery searches the extra spell. That's the only reason I'm playing one. But honestly, it's so trash. I hate when I see it. Uh, Into the Void does almost the same thing. It gives you the extra counter, and the card that you get, the, it gives you one counter, and the card that you draw into the Void will give you another counter, or if not more than one counter, like a draw two card, right? You have no idea how much a draw, draw cards mean for a spell counter decks. It's just a free counter, and you get the card back. That is so important. I would play 60 cards and 20 Into the Voids if I can. 
One up star, triple desires, triple allure. Uh, play triple desires is just correct. Triple allure, do it. Just do it, please. Triple institution, it's a good. I used to think it was so broken. If you're playing a jackal, play three. But if you're not playing mini jackal, play two. Triple master, triple instant fusion. Instant fusion is there because the millennium master is strict to stop droll. If you don't cannot afford millennium master stick, that's fine. It's not that important anymore. You can take it out for the card I just uh, mentioned. I'll talk about side deck later. Extra deck. Crowley, Mascarena, Daybreaker, Sayuja, play it. Appalooza, play it. Phoenix, Unicorn, Boral Sword, Boral Load. All these late cards you need to play. Every other card you do not need to play. Narito, you don't need to play. It's just there sometimes when you don't have a spell trapping again, you're scared evenly. You have Jackal Chronograph. Absolute Vortex. I literally made it zero times this the past two weekends. But it still comes up for sure. You just don't want to get rid of your Mighty Master. The only level 7 you have is Reflection Mighty Master. Uh... Millennium Eyes for the Droll play, Thousand Eyes, just in case you're playing Triple Eyes Fusion, and Gravity Controller, because it's multi-purpose. The Pendulum Effect is, uh, like, the fact that you use it for a Pendulum card, it really will never come up, maybe once in a blue moon. Avermax will come up once in a blue moon, but really, it's just a card to get rid of with Thousand Eyes and Millennium Eyes. Uh, it's multi-purpose, but you'll really never use it. It's like, you can use it for three reasons, but you'll probably never use any of them. Uh, now, this is where the deck really comes in, it's super spicy. I, after siding, I choose to go second every time. You're going to see on my Patreon videos, I'm going to be showing a video of a Pendulum Mirror match. I made him go first after siding, and I, I won. Uh, it's just amazing what this deck could do after siding. So, Mystic Mind in this deck is absolutely busted. Because they're, 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 no one's siding Twin Twister against you when they think that you're going first. Twin Twister, they'll side when they're going first. Does that make sense? So, after, after you, let's say you lose a game, and now you get to choose who goes first... Uh, you make them go first, you prepare to play Mystic Minds, and they have zero out. You literally drop mine, pass, go ahead, and just chill. And you win the game. It's literally that simple. Uh, against all the top decks, they have no out to it whatsoever. After after you make them go first, they have zero out. Uh, so you just drop mine and pass forever. Uh, the beauty of it as well is their cards don't resolve, but your Mighty Master does resolve. So Mystic Mind and Pendulums is just broken. Uh, look how many cards I have. I literally put in all the... I don't want to play against Combo. Against Combo, I put in these 10... I did drop mine and pass. All I do is bait the Trigate, Mystic Mind, pass, go ahead, you're good. Uh, pass forever. That's literally the game plan. I don't want to play. I don't care. If you clear Spiral's board, you win anyways. So that's the game plan going second. I know I don't want to play. I know it's a lot of cards. Like, you're, oh, trip, that's too many cards to side deck. No, I literally don't want to play. I don't. I just want to drop mine for 30 turns until they deck out. So that, that's that. Uh, the deck, I'm telling you guys, it's just amazing. And now against back row, you're going to put in triple lightning storm, one reboot, triple evenly. The cards to take out, this is up to you, but I take out lots of stuff. I'll take out all the institutions, I'll take out the mini jackal, I'll even take out the droll, because I just want these cards to outright win. I'll take out instant fusion, I'll take out one secrets, uh, uh, I, uh, little stuff, like one abductor, one servers, little stuff like that until it's, an, until it's enough. Never take out search, search cards though, or draw cards. Next, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's the deck, guys. The deck's honestly amazing. Uh, consider supporting on tr uh, Patreon because I will be doing 10 videos in the next week on how to play this deck extremely correctly. Deck's amazing. Hope you like the video. Hit the subscribe button. Consider getting yourself a beautiful Triff Gaming Playnet. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.